Hey guys, so today's video is my BoxyCharm unboxing. I love doing BoxyCharm videos. Of course, you guys know that. Um, and this month, the box is interesting. I have a lot to say, of course. That's why I'm here. <laughs> so I'm not gonna ramble anymore. If you are new, please don't forget to subscribe. And now if you wanna see this February BoxyCharm unboxing, then just keep watching. Okay, so when I first opened the box, I was like, mm. and then I was like, mm. and then I was like, no, hold on. Let me not be so judgmental because just because we, I didn't get a whole lot of makeup in here, doesn't mean it's a bad box. Because if you think about it, every other month there's an eyeshadow palette or a lipstick or a lip liner or an eyeliner or whatever. None of us need all of that. <laughs> uh, we really don't. I mean, it's nice to have, but we really don't need it. So after I went through everything and I was like, you know what? This is good. This is, there's a lot of brands here that I didn't know before. There are a lot of products that I never even heard of. So this is great. Like this is the point of having a box, right? Like this is that you get to be introduced to new brands, new products, and just get, you know, out of your funk. So now I have collected my thoughts and I read about the products and I just went through everything on my own. I like it. <laughs> First up, we have the Evio or Evio. I'm not sure how to say this name, uh, but these are refreshing cleansing hemp wipes and they retail for $10. So I have never heard of this brand ever. I went on their Instagram and they have a lot more products and I am very happy that I was introduced to this brand. I'm going to look through everything you know on the website and just investigate <laughs> further but I use this today just to cleanse my face uh, I didn't have makeup on and I didn't try to take my makeup off with this but right here it says the uh, they are biodegradable and they wipe um, they remove waterproof makeup and keep keep skin hydrated so I don't know We'll see. Maybe I'll try to remove my makeup today. I do have waterproof mascara. So let's see how it goes. Um, as far as refreshing and, you know, the feeling of being clean, my skin did, I did feel that um, before I apply my makeup. So uh, they don't smell, they're not, it's not like overwhelming, the smell. And what I do like about this is the cloth, the material that they're made out of. It's not like a rough wipe. It's really, it, feels like a cloth so I do like wipes like that um, and you get here let me see if it says how many you get in here I don't think it says on the packaging but you get a pretty good amount so enough for you to make up your mind and try it out so very nice next we have the first aid beauty facial radiance pads and this retails for $16 so this is another product I have never tried before i have heard of this brand and i've tried a few products of this brand not too many but a few um and these were great uh they reminded me of the uh the pixie the glow tonic pads they didn't burn my skin they didn't make my skin red or anything like that um they felt really you know hydrating um and they were very i'm trying not to say the word that everyone hates uh they were very um, like you can really feel the product in there. They were soaked, really soaked in the liquid. So they're not dry. I hate when you get those pads and they're like dry and you have to use two of them, like one for half of your face and then another one for the other half. Uh, these are great. So I'm going to continue to use them and they do have, they're alcohol free and, um, they seem, they, they didn't feel overly drying. Like after I was done. Uh, my skin didn't feel overly dry. So I like that about this. So, you know, skincare is tough because you got to try it out a few more times to make up your mind. But first impression, I really liked it. So this one is a mouthful. It's a long name and I'm going to read this. And this is the last skincare product in the box. This is from Kate Somerville. This is the KX Active Concentrates Bio Mimicking 
peptides serum. Say that three times faster. <laughs> so this is a serum and it felt really nice. Like I said, it's tough, it's skincare, you gotta try it out more than once. Um, but first impression, it felt nice and it felt, um, it had a lot of like a grip to it. So it's nice to put that under your moisturizer, which is what it's meant to be. Um, how it's meant it's meant to be worn uh, under your moisturizer. So it felt uh, like it absorbed really fast and it felt like tacky. So when I put on my moisturizer, my skin was like, yes, you know, like ready for it. So really like it, you get a full size. So this is expensive. This retails for $98. That's crazy. It's such a bummer that I just opened up a serum the other day that I am trying it out, but um, this lasts for a good, does it say here, 12 months. So I have time. <laughs> um, it felt really nice. The scent didn't, didn't bother me. It wasn't like an overwhelming scent, uh, which I don't like in skincare products. But so far, so good. I'm going to keep you guys posted to see if it breaks me out or whatnot. Uh, but I feel like my gals over 30 will really appreciate this. And uh, I'm going to give it a go. Once I'm done with the other serum that I literally just opened, I'm going to um, keep on this one to see if I see any results. This is the only makeup in this box. Crazy, right? The actual makeup. This is the only makeup item in the box. This is the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder, and this retails for $22. When I first read coconut powder, I was like, mm, I don't know about this, but, but, I applied this with a brush. I didn't want to bake it, because I haven't been baking. It's My skin has been really, really dry. Um, the smell is not crazy. You definitely smell the coconut, but it's not like, it doesn't make you, you know, that didn't make me go like that, but it might, maybe you will, but not me. It wasn't terrible. Um, the powder is so fine, so fine. I am always a little afraid when the powder is like actually like white like this, because I always feel like I'm going to have hella flashback, but so far so good. I, my under eyes look super smooth because the powder is so so fine even with a brush it didn't like overly mattify my skin it just kind of made my skin super smooth in a way so I'm surprised about this I'm gonna keep wearing that this and I didn't even know they had powders I don't own a lot of Ciate London products I've only had maybe like a few lipsticks or highlighter or something like that. So I'm not super familiar with this brand, but really like this. So I'm gonna continue to wear it. And then lastly, we have the Alamar Cosmetics Complexion Brush Trio, and this retails for $36. So these are the brushes right here, and they're dirty, of course, because I use them. But I use this one to set my face, my under eyes, and my T-zone. And I also use this to apply highlighter. I used this one to apply my bronzer everywhere. And then I used this one right here. This one is the, the only one that I was like, mm, I don't know about this brush, but it looks cute. It looks like a flower. Um, this one I use to apply blush, <laughs> um, but they have a name here. This is called the complexion brush. This is called the brightening brush. And this is called the bronzer brush. I don't know if, I would apply bronzer with this one, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Brushes are brushes. You can use them for whatever you want. Um, they're really nice. I really like them, literally. Even this one that was a little weird. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just like, it looks cute, but when you apply it, it's like, is it going to give me these bumps? It didn't, though. I applied brush, uh, blush with this, and it worked out fine. But my favorite one uh, was this one, for sure. And I do love this one uh, to apply... Uh, bronzer and contour and whatnot because it's angled and it's just it's perfect. They're very fluffy. They are Like dense, but not like stiff. They're fluffy. They're nice and they're brand new I know they just came out with them. So I really like these. I love brushes. I love having brushes. I It's probably one of the things that I hoard the most brushes So the total value of the boxes month is of a hundred and eighty two dollars 
Ah, that's crazy. Just that serum alone was $98. So anyway, and then you pay $25. I will have a link down below. It is an affiliate link. So if you decide to sign up to BoxyCharm through that link, I will make a $5 commission and I will love you forever. And I really, really appreciate that. But it's a very, very much worth it uh, service. I, I really love it. Like I said, I'm never disappointed. You just got to have an open mind because you will get pleasantly surprised. You will be introduced to new things and you might love them. You might obviously you're not going to love everything, but you might just, just, you know, give it a chance. You might step out of your box and it's, I think it's a good thing. <laughs> All right, guys, let me know what you guys thought of this month's boxy charm. Let me know what you got in your box. Maybe you got something different. Leave me a comment down below. And as always, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, and if you learned something new, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Come here. That's not our cat, unfortunately, but I've known him forever. That's my mother-in-law's cat. We're just taking care of him for a little bit. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Hello, midnight. Okay. Now we got hit everywhere.